To analyze a Likert scale survey using exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis, we need to follow the following steps. For the first step, we need to go to analyze. Then I need to locate dimension reduction. This is of course on spaces, then factor. So once I just open this factor box, what I need to do is that I need to right click so that I can display variable names instead of their labels. In case I want to delete some of the items that may not show up well in the factor loading. So I need to select just the first item and I need to click control shift simultaneously and just scroll down till the last item here. So these are all Likert scale items. Gender, age, among others are not included in the factor analysis. So once they are selected, I need to click this uh, arrow so that I move them to the variables or this box. Okay, then I need to go to descriptives and I need to check the Camo and Bartlett's test of sphericity to check to what extent the uh, model fits the data. Click there, determinant among others. So I can choose as many options as possible depending on my objectives. But the most important one is this first. So let's try to be brief and choose just this one. Click continue. Then I click uh, extraction and by default I have principal components. I can just uh, have other options like principal access factoring and maximum likelihood. So I can just choose my maximum likelihood, but these are uh, variant uh, methods. So it depends again on your objectives. So let's say we want to uh, go for maximum likelihood. And for the display, we want to uh, keep the script plot and, uh, and take this so-called in rotated factor solution for the sake of visualization. Here for the extract method, we have the eigenvalues greater than one. So we keep it by default. In case we have a fixed number of factors, we can put the number here, but we can just keep this and change and click continue. Then I go to rotation and then I will choose, there are two types of, or two major categories of rotation. We have the oblique and the orthogonal rotation along with their subtypes. We have the most common ones. We have the very max that assumes correlation, the pro max. So I can just go for the pro max because it's the most optimal according to here 2010 for maximum likelihood. And then I will just click continue and move to scores. In case I want to have the new variables or the new groups show up as uh, say composite scores, so that I can run other tests like correlation and regression on the whole uh, composite score rather than the item per se. I need to click this, save as variables, keep it for regression, it's fine. Click continue. Then I will go to options. And then we have ways to deal with missing data. Uh, there are different ways. I can replace that missing data with the mean, etc., or delete that listwise or pairwise. Then for the coefficient display format, I need to sort the data by, or rather the item grouping by size. And then I want to suppress small coefficients that are below 30%. Okay, then click continue. Now I think that I'm ready to run exploratory factor analysis and start editing the uh, items that will stay in what group or which group that will show up later. So click OK and wait for it. So here is the output that is yet in a separate file that is SPV file. You can see here the chemo and Bartlett test. So the kaiser mayer orkin measure of sampling adequacy is 39.8%, which is good. So this value is good. And the Bartlett's test of sphericity is statistically significant, as you can see, since the p-value is uh, less than 0 0.001. So this is statistically significant. This means that the hypothesized model that we have fits the data. So now we can go for 
the other steps. I need to look at the communalities so that I can adjust or make some adjustments with regard to the grouping of some items that are or that have these communalities less than 5 or 0.5 rather. So here we have the first one interaction that has this communality that is less than uh, five. So I just remember it and need to look for the other observations. Okay, like we have this uh, information acquisition number five again, uh, it should be removed. And then we have this again item that should be removed. So let's just uh, keep this open and uh, go and just go to this icon and click there and click factor analysis then i need to remove the first item which is interaction so i need just to check it click it rather and click this arrow to get it back to its place then the other item that needs to be removed is this one so any item that has a communality that is less than 0.5 needs to be removed so I just remove like the first item because it has this communality that is less than 0.5. So I will just take it back to its place. Then I have this uh, other item, which is information acquisition, which has this value that is less than 0.5. So it's item number uh, five, information acquisition. So I need just to remove it and then I have the last item that is uh, this one number eight that needs to be uh, removed again and uh, once I check that all of the items that have a value that is less than 0.5 removed I will just rerun the exploratory factor analysis again and recheck if there are other items that may need to be removed that have a threshold that is less than 0.5 so if i just scan this or skim it i can just spot one this one uh, started having this uh, slightly slightly less than 0.5 so it needs to be removed although it was like good in the first place but when we made the changes uh, it has it has also changed a little bit so we can just go to uh, recently called dialogues factor analysis and then interaction number seven and get it back to its place and click OK and rerun the model. So now all of the items have good communality values. So this means that we can just go for the interpretation of the other um, tables like the total variance explained. Here we have uh, five factors that explain 71.96% of the total variance of the in the survey and then we have the script plot to visualize those factors based on the eigenvalue greater than 1 and the, the table that concerns us the most is this table that is the pattern matrix or it's also uh, it is also called the rotated uh, factor matrix uh, it has the items and their grouping into factors as you can see based on their factor loadings here so uh, again we have some items that uh, may not go load well with some uh, factors like this one so we can just be careful with it it can be deleted uh, so this one can be removed as well for the sake of uh, convergent and discriminant uh, validity later again re recall recently used dialog box factor and then we have d equal number six this one and then click run and let's see the uh, pattern matrix again so now all of them are good and what can be done uh, sometimes one item can load into uh, two groups or two factors as you can see factor one two three and four uh, along with five but uh, the highest value is counted as you can see so what i need to do is that i need just to copy this table and then 
uh, I go to IBM Spaces MS. But before that, I would just like to show you that those factors have become, let's say, composite uh, scores on the Spaces uh, data set. You can see here we have different uh, factors that have been created at the end of the survey. And they can be used for correlation or regression. Of course, we are going to pick the latest ones because we kept editing and remove the others. So anyways, uh, so once I copied, you remember, I just copied the table and I go to analyze and then IBM Spaces AMS and open that. Uh, I have this already created. Uh, this can take more time if I want to do it uh, in a manual way by just uh, drawing these shapes uh, like the observed uh, measures and the latent measures as you can see along with the covariances and error terms so uh, i have plugins like plugins can do the to work fast and uh, i i'm just going to share with you link of a google drive file uh, from which you can get the plugins as developed by gaskin and you can just install them by and blocking them first by checking their properties and putting them into the uh, plugin folder from apps data that is a hidden uh, let's say folder so i'm just going to show you how you can do that so once you click plugins i already have them installed into my ibm spaces ams so the plugin that i need uh, is the one that is called pattern matrix model builder so i just click it and then remember, I already copied the uh, pattern matrix, so I need just to paste it and click create diagram. So it will just create this diagram automatically. So I'm just uh, redoing it for the sake of uh, explanation. So it will just create the diagram automatically. And then I can uh, check other values, like in case I want to check the uh, validity and reliability I just go to the plugins that is called validity and reliability and click there and it will check the uh, validity and reliability after we compute the uh, estimates and there is yet another plugin that, uh, that we call model fit measures it can help you with the interpretation of the measures according to their cut uh, cutoff points along with references and that's very useful for you to understand what the results mean okay so there are different uh, plugins uh, you are going to find them all in the folder in the description box for the analysis of the data you can just go to analyze and calculate estimates and click ok and it will just uh, uh, draw the standardized and unstandardized estimates so you just go for standardized estimates so this is in brief how you can do uh, exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis using IBM Spaces and uh, AMS. If you have questions or remarks, kindly let me know and see you soon.